A child molester named Chester? Well, yeah, he's a clown, right? And, you know, he goes to kids' birthday parties and... Oh, he has a shovel that... <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's awful. Well, you don't have anything better, Dawn Breath. Sweet burn. I've got it. There's a midget fortune teller who robs a bank. We call it small, medium, at large. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, guys, we need, like, at least one workable idea before I go. When do you have to leave, anyway? Well, I have to leave at 6. I'm kind of hosting a wine and cheese party. <laughs> you know no one's going to show up. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I've got it. So this guy's hosting a party, all right? He gets all this crap set up, you know? Like balloons, chips, dip, you name it. Hella ridiculous amounts. A feast worthy of King Leonidas. He waits and waits, but no one ever shows up. Not a soul. And he's a clown. With diarrhea. So all these people say they'll try to make it, one after the other, hundreds of- CLOUD FRIENDS! So what happens? He kills himself. With a shovel. Well, I, I thought we were gonna make like a quality movie, but this is this is good too. You don't have anything better. Okay, how about this? A private chauffeur who used to be a race car driver. <laughs> With no feet. <laughs> He has a girlfriend named Desire. He may be out of the racing game, but... They still dance the horizontal hustle. Scratch that. Let's do a movie about a poker cheat. A real card shark, you know? I like it. We'll start with some really stylized montage, you know? He's winning. Cheating at every table, cleaning up sucker after sucker. They call him Zeus, he's so good. The audience has to like him now. He's making all this money so he can pay for his grandmother's surgery. She has cancer, and she had taught him everything he knew about cards. Good, good. But we still need an ending. And a middle, I suppose. Turns out to be a real shark. So he's raking it in, really sharking all these noobs, when one day this new kid comes in. Bertram Fiddle. So it turns out this new kid's even better than Zeus, starts cleaning him out! Cleaning everyone out! <laughs> Make fiddle? Yeah, yeah, that's a creamy name. Kill our tension. We need a choice, though. A choice. So Zeus has to decide. Does he give up both their secrets? Or does he try to take this McFiddle fool out? He goes to Grandma Zeus, asks her opinion. But she's gotten worse. She's almost dead. Not in a 
course you can't die yet, then there's no tension. <laughs> She tells him about the most powerful playing card in all the world. Really? This isn't Harry Potter. Maybe she's just faking having cancer so that he would... To bring them closer together? No, it's... They'd already be close together, that's why he cares. To make money? No. She had been a shark for decades, could have all the money she wanted. They're brothers! The grandmother? No, no, no! Zeus and McGriddle! So they start working together, right? And they become the greatest card sharks in all the land. Wow, you finally came up with something reasonable. Muzzle dove. Good. We still need an ending, though. We could... No. No, oh, never mind. Do you guys have three nipples? More. Um... <laughs> okay, this is clearly not going anywhere. I gotta get going. How's your grandmother? She's been better. The stakes are high. Hope she's bluffing. 